Housing market might just be too legit to quit here. Pending home sales, which measures the volume of signed real estate contracts in a given month, it jumped unexpectedly in March, up 3.4%. Even with mortgage rates continued to rise over 7% here. More people, people are out there. They're putting in offers on homes. So if you are in the market for a new home, what should you be taking into consideration about the market all right now. Joining me now on this is Mariana Nero, who is the Sirhan Florida founding agent. Great to have you on with us, and thanks so much for taking the time. I took a look at some of your listings. Uh, not shabby at all. Uh, and of course, the Florida market booming, especially post-COVID. So all of these things considered, what are the top considerations that people going into this spring buying season should be keeping in mind? Okay, Brad, thank you for having me here. Uh, definitely, they need to define if they're going to buy cash or if they need a finance. If they need finance, they need to get ready before searching for properties and putting offers. Uh, with the pre-approval loan uh, from their lender, with their letter, they not only they're gonna understand better how much they can afford, maybe they can afford more than they think, or maybe they can afford less, so then they can filter and do a better search. And with that pre-approval letter, they're gonna have a lot more power while putting an offer and negotiating a property. I wonder what you're seeing in the negotiations right now, especially in the market that you're within and, and where you're seeing buyers kind of come in from. Uh, I mean, it's probably not first time home buyers based on some of the listing prices that I'd seen for your listings. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of just conversation about where they're trying to make sure that they're negotiating properly for themselves. Yes, we see buyers from uh, all over, especially I'm in Florida, down in Florida. We have a lot of people, a lot of Latins, but we have a lot of the U.S. new, new buyers uh, we had a suppressed demand from the last 12, 24 months from buyers that didn't pull the trigger that we see now jumping to the market. And that's why we see the home sales increased uh, in the last few months, especially this year. Just lastly here, before we let you go, you know, where do you see the market moving as you kind of look out into the rest of the year? A lot of potential buyers that are still on the sidelines just waiting for potential rate cuts. Yes, don't wait for the interest rates to start to, to drop because prices will skyrocket. What I tell everyone is that every half a point in difference in the rate is only $33 monthly with principal and interest in every $100 that you borrow. So it's not a lot. It's better for you to just negotiate while your prices are still low because prices will jump once the, the interest rate starts to drop. And that's the trend.